what's going on everybody it's your boy Don we are back with another video another day of the week another video you guys already know man today I want to talk about a trade that I've been thinking about it all night this is what I think about it isn't that crazy Nick's is what I think about at night when I sleep it's wild man I, I'm thinking about this buddy Hill trade and Julius Randle you know this it just makes sense to me it makes sense to me to do this this is a good trade. You send Julius, Milikina, and Dennis Smith or Knox, right? For Buddy Yield and the second round. Well, actually, no, no. Let me revise that. So if the first scenario, if, if the Kings don't take it, right? So if they don't take Randall, Milikina, Smith or Knox and a second round pick, right? Then... Either with the pick, either with the second round pick or without it, you know, it should work. It should work. It should work. Why? Why do I say this? We know Randall, nineteen point five points a game. He gets his rebound, forty six percent, forty six percent from the field. This is nineteen twenty. Um, if you look at their stats, their stats are almost similar, but they're very different needs. Needs that we necessarily don't want to fail right now for Julius Randle. Because I swear to you, I do not think that Randle and Obi is going to be a thing that's going to last long. It's just not. He crowds the space that Obi wants to take. We know it. We know it. We all know it. We don't have to wait for the season to start to see these things. If you look at Buddy Houston, remember what I just told you. Look, we're looking at Julius Randle. I... I I think you can just about see that. I'm, I'm not too far away here. Now, let's look at Buddy Heald. Whoa, sorry, sorry, sorry. Wrong point. Buddy Heald, same thing, but he's a better shooter. He's a better shooter. He can play point guard. Defensively, he can get better, but I think he has the size to. 19.2 points a game. So it's pretty much the same production as Randall with better shooting. He's a ridiculously good three-point shooter. Our team would look very strong if it's a team of Buddy Heald, RJ Barrett. You can put Knox there, whoever, you know. And the 3-4 OB, if, if Knox stays, of course. 4 OB, 5 Mitchell Robinson. That's a solid starting lineup, though. Like, seriously, seriously. Like, think about that. I've been thinking about this whole day. You look at Julius Randle's contract here. We already know three years, sixty-two million, right? This year he gets about eighteen million. Next year, so this is really the last year of his contract, I should say, because once the twenty twenty-one season start, th this is really the last year that he would go into his contract. The difference between Buddy Hughes' contract and and Julius Randle is that Buddy Hughes is a little bit more for one, and we would be in there for another two years. So if we count this one, it's one, two. Three. So if we don't count the up and coming season, it'll be another two years instead of a one year, another one year with Randall. You know, I think we should do this. I think we should do this. I really do think we should do this. We're we're only taking about we're taking a little bit more. Let's see, eighteen here, eighteen and twenty one. It's about the same money. It's the same money. It's about the same money. But it, the last year will be a little bit more. I think we should do this trade. Let me know in the comment section what you think. I, I like this. I really do like this. I feel like we, we can use Buddy Hill in a very good way. And he can improve defensively under Tom Thibodeau. You know, last piece I have, I wanted to look at, at a little bit of his game here. Shout out to Hoop Intellect. You already know I love Hoop Intellect with the videos. Um, Let's just put this over here. Let this load up. I think we should do this. I think we should do this. We can look at Buddy Hill a little bit, you know. Tell me not though. It, it almost makes perfect sense to me. I I went to sleep yesterday, and you know I'm in the Knicks Facebook group. Shout out to you guys. You guys always like my stuff and check out my videos as well. You know, but let's take a look at Buddy Heald here, man. Let's take a look. I feel like oh, and that's how true it is. Look, it stopped on the Knicks, man. This is destiny right here. Seriously, guys, seriously, let me know what you think. Let, let's look a little bit of Buddy Hughes' game. I know it might not show the, the best defense or every defensive play. That's what the highlights usually don't show. But still, let's take a look. Him underneath and drop him off, Mr. Hughes. But he says, I have bunnies as well. 
Look at that tight defense done. Go right by him. Buddy, heal. He's got good offense. Look, he's got good offense. He's got good size. You know, imagine him pairing him with R.J. Barrett. R.J. Barrett can learn so much from him. Obi is a very offensive threat now because Randall's not in his way. You know, why not? Stops on a dime. Oh, man, I, I think we need to do this trade. And remember, remember, so if you're saying, oh, well, Don, why would you want him to play point guard? I would, well, I would want Buddy Hill to play point guard because of his size. Who can we start behind him? If we still have Peyton, Peyton can be there. A sleeper in Miles Powell is still around, you know. Listen, man, Buddy Hill, I like this a lot. I like it. Offensively, he's excellent. I think he's definitely one of the best three point shooters in the NBA. Oliver trying to stop Buddy Hill. Then guess what? He can. There's many ways to affect in this game. Buddy Hill, stutter step. Oh, can get to the hoop. Good luck for Hill. Gets the Knicks again. Defensively, he can get he can get even better. Maybe can he maybe he can get even a little bit more size. Yes, sir. Tell me not. I went to sleep today and thought about this. Oh man, here we go again. Whatever college you're going to, good luck. Been there, done that. It's showing a lot of people highlights. This is what I wanted to see. Him getting to the hoop. On Porzingis, too. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, it would not be a bad trade. It wouldn't really hurt our cap like that. Um, yeah, we're probably in an extra year for his contract. But if his value goes up, we can always trade him. You know? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I went to sleep yesterday. I woke up. I said, I got to make this video. We, we, we can use Buddy Heald on our team. Uh, let me skip forward a little bit because, you know, I know we're we're stretching in time. Name a point guard that can do that for the Knicks. Na name a point guard right now that can do that. Name a point guard. Name a point guard that can do that. I'm telling you, we can use Buddy Hill, man. That's Mitchell Robinson right there. That's that's a Mitchell Robinson play. Fine. I'm telling you, we can use him in so many different ways. If you have, you have Buddy, right? You have RJ. Knox, if he stays. Right? Then you still have OB, Mitchell Robinson. Norris Noel is a backup at the three. Um, I don't think, I, I can't see, sorry, Norris Noel would be a backup at, at the center. Um, I don't know who the backup would be at, at the three, though, necessarily. Um, we would have to see, you know. But I think I think for what it's worth, it's worth checking them out. If we can do this trade. And you know what? For those of you that like Frank Nelakina, Frank Nelakina, basically, if Buddy Hield plays more defensively, right? If he puts in more if he puts in more of an effort on defense, he would basically kind of become what we want Nelakina to be. A solid scorer who can get who can get inside. You know? But Milikina doesn't have any of the offense or passing. We should trade for Buddy Hill, man. We should do it. I think we should do it. Think about it. Think about what we are trying to build and think about what Buddy Hill has right now. Just think about it. Just look at our... And we would be so dangerous on almost every position on the floor. The one, the two... The three, the 
the four long lengthy guys. Because remember, quickly is there too. You can put quickly at the you can put quickly at the two and then put RJ at the three. Tell me not, tell me not. We, oh my god. I, I woke up this morning. I said I gotta show you guys this. I gotta show you guys this. Man, y'all making money over here, Hoop Intellect, man. Another ad. But shout out to those boys forever, man. I love you guys. I love the content there. Oh, I paused it by accident. Sorry. I don't know what happened here. I... We need this guy on our team. We need this guy on our team. It's a, it's it's like it's 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 almost a no brainer for me in so many ways. Money wise, it works out. Play wise, now I do think that one thing like I want him to dish the ball more. I don't just want to see the three pointers. I want to, I know he can shoot it, but I want him to dish the ball around a little bit more so that our offense can stay in a flow. But we would be building a dangerous team, man. Man, if we can get Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill does teams looking for three more, and that's right. Buddy Hill to the corner. No good, but that's good basketball. And he's athletic, he's quick, you know, he can get inside. Can make the pass if necessary, but I would want him to make the pass more, you know? To make the passes. He has an inside shot. Can improve defensively, even though defense is not his best game. He'd still be one of the best guards on the team. Probably the best guard on the team instantly. We still have Austin Rivers, too, at point interchangeably. Even though Rivers wouldn't bring the offense, but Rivers is more of a true point guard and Peyton is as well. So then Buddy can come in at the two if he wants to, if RJ may be sat. You know, I think this is enough of the offense that I wanted to show you guys. You know, but let your boy Don know in the comment section what you think, man. We trade we trade Julius, we trade Nilakina, and a second rounder. Or we trade Julius, Nilakina, Knox, and Dennis Smith, and a second rounder. Some people say it's a lot. It's really not, though, because you're probably getting the same value back, and plus we have a lot of picks left over anyway, you know. But I think it's it's financially it makes sense to me. Financially it makes sense. It's something that I would like to see, you know. But let your boy Don know in the comment section what you think, man. Like, comment, rate, subscribe if you enjoy these videos. We got to get Buddy Hill on the team, man. I, I think I like the idea. It's your boy Don for now, and as always... Peace, I'm out.